Beach Creatives video. Today we are going to do a beach scene with acrylics and um, I am using a uh, mesh touch and gum darker pa uh, acrylic paint. I'm using a 10 by 10, an 8 by 10 canvas board and this is a giveaway painting so stay tuned for the details of this painting. I am using Theo Thal blue and thal green and lemon yellow and uh, warm gray and also I added black and white and um, natural gray and permanent red that is master touch both of those is master touch in this and I've got a fine mist uh, spray bottle I'm using mainly black I am using a few rounds, but mainly flat. And I didn't draw nothing on my canvas. I just kind of did it with paint and uh, had some fun with it. I'm drawing my uh, shoreline right now. And I'm just doing this in the uh, foul blue. And uh, just painting it all over, all over, above that line, blue. And I'm using like a flat 20 brush on this. And I'm just using water to thin it, my paint down, or to use. I'm not using no mediums. So this is drying pretty quickly with it being acrylics. And a lot of people don't like acrylics because of the fact that it dries fast. That's one reason I do like it at times. Sometimes it dries too fast. And then I'm going in with the warm uh, gray. And it's more of a brown than a gray to me. But anyways, that's the color a uh, Master Touch is named it and if you want to see the full version of this uh, I will have a link in down below for Patreon it's gonna be at my full link video on this that is unedited and all or no voice open nothing Now I'm going in, I'm using half white and half blue on my brush. And I love this effect because it does, it makes a painting go by so much faster for me. Once I get this done, I will take a dry brush and just blend it all together. And I'm having probably fine, uh, well, I might let it dry a little bit. Now I'm going in with the th uh, blue and the green together. Like I did the blue and white half and half. Uh, I think I'm using some white and green mix here. And I'm just feathering it in while I'm swapping it in. I, I call it swapping it in. This is why I'm blending the white and the blue together, and I'm going to do the same with the blue and the green and the white.
So I'm just adding some more uh, the natural gray. And I'm adding more, I'm just adding solid white now. I just want like cloud streaks in this. Now I'm going in with the green and the white again. I mean, I, this water about got the best of me, I think. And I'm not for sure if that's green or blue, but I'm thinking it's green. And I'm just trying to feather it all in or... And now I'm just blending it. And I'm just blow drying it with the hair dryer or the hair brush dryer, whatever you want to call that silly thing. It works great. And I'm just going back in with the warm gray to get my, to cover it some more. I'm adding more green and blue to this around the sh shoreline. This is yellow oakum, and I'm just going in to 
do my highlight or my darkest and then I'm just blending it out. And I don't like this corner, so we are going to build. I was going to build a bunch of little rocks, and I'm, I decided to build a couple big ones, or a big one and a small one. And you'll see when I change my mind. That did not even look like a rock, so I added more on to it here in a minute. And I am using yellow ochre and the natural gray I think and then I added some red and some yellow and I still didn't like it was it some yellow lemon yellow and I'm thinking I'm adding red here okay to enter this paint for this painting Go to MeWe.com, join Angie's Creative Studios, and comment on the painting with the beach and the state that you live in. This has nothing to do with YouTube or MeWe. This is my giveaway. Nobody else's. It is an 8x10 beach scene on a canvas panel painted in acrylic. And you will have up into Saturday the 10th, July the 10th of 2021 to enter. So it's a week from today. This is July the 3rd around now nearly 11 o'clock. So it will be probably midnight when this thing, this post. But it's supposed to have been posted only on the day and I have not got around to it. So. Make sure you join and enter and subscribe below and comment below also if you want to. But to enter this drawing, you have to join me, we, and put at the, the uh, beach and the state you live in. And this is open to the USA. U.S. only state. And I'm sorry I'm not doing international because it's, with COVID and all, it's just too, too big of a headache for me. And I haven't really, I don't want to do customs and all this stuff at the moment. But I am looking into it. So just know that I am looking into this for you. So, like I said, go join us on MeWe. And if you don't know what MeWe is, it's something like Facebook, and you get, I mean, I like MeWe better than I do Facebook. It's just easier to, you see everybody's post, you don't see the same old post over and over and over. If you off for a day or two, like you do on Facebook. I'm not bad mail on Facebook. Facebook's got it deal but I'm more I'm going more on MeWe than Facebook at the moment. And MeWe and YouTube does not have nothing to do with this giveaway. This is a disclaimer for YouTube and MeWe and Facebook. This is not has nothing to do with either platform. This is to do with Angie's Creative Studio with Angie. So, just wanted to throw that all out there. Okay, I took a little break and let it dry dry on its own without using the hair dryer because I didn't want the yellow and all that to make blow out or off because it was pretty watery. So, I am going back in with the uh, natural gray and uh, the red here 
and add and then I'll keep on adding and adding until I got to get it like I wanted it. And finally I just mixed every color that was on my palette together. Just a little of this and a little of that to get the color I wanted. You could paint your rocks any way you see fit. I you know, that's and there's no wrong or right way of doing doing it. Everybody has their own technique. This is the way I paint. I mean, I may take the long way around, but I still get the results I want. And with acrylics, you can paint over it as many times as you need to and get the effect that you want. And, like I said, I'm not using no medium or nothing. So, this is all water, layering with water and uh, paint. And, it's been a while since I've done acrylics. And, rocks, I've never done rocks in acrylics. So, I was having, I was struggling with it a little. I've done it in watercolors enough to know how to do it. But, acrylics, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But I finally got it like I wanted it. And I added another rock. And it made it more look more natural, I think. I ain't added it yet. But I will here in, in a few seconds. And here I go blow drying again. You can see the force of that hair dryer. And this is when I finally decided I finally got the color I wanted, I think. But, I mean, I have all the other corners in the mix, so it, it came out like I wanted it. I still have, you know, different corners. I mean, it looks a lot better than what it did, so I'm happy with it. And this is where I put the other rock in. And I just keep on layering it up with different corners that's on my palette. I mean, I have, I've used, I've been consistent pretty much through the whole painting with those five, six, seven corners I was using. And I'm taking a dry brush and just kind of blending it in. And like I said, I I I was have I've been I was having difficult with it. I don't know exactly what that might have been a little bit of white and gray mint. I'm not for sure. I don't remember. I was just throwing paint down. And I'm fixing to take the uh, blue and the lemon yellow and make uh, grass thorns or whatever, grass pods. And I'm taking a little bit of lemon yellow by itself and adding to it to add the light to it. And I just did that kind of over the sand or over the beach area. And I did a few over the, or a couple over the rocks.
and as for a palette, I use a Dollar Tree square glass cut mat that you find in the kitchen section at Dollar Tree for acrylics and oils. Now I'm going in with some um, the gray and black and I think I got a little tad of blue in mixed on my paintbrush but it came out looking good so I was I'm like okay I'm leaving it <laughs> I wasn't doing no fancy fussy painting at this moment now I'm going in with lemon yellow and white and I'm I've, I've got a touch of yellow and and what and a somewhat I'd say three fourths white and a fourth of yellow. I I didn't want a bright yellow, but I wanted a, a muted yellow, and I just put it on, and then I went back with a dry brush and just blended it, kind of you know blended it out, and then I used black paint to make forms in the sky. And we done. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And y'all have a blessed day and have a happy 4th. And don't forget, go join me we for a chance to win this painting. Bye.